Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LSAT prep course from Princeton Review. I'm going to break down what features you get with this course, how it works, a cost comparison, and of course my thoughts on whether I think it's worth it and who it might be best for. So if you're ready, we got a lot to cover. Let's hit it. All right, welcome back. So to kick things off, I just want to mention up front here that since I'll just be sort of limited to talking about the major highlights and lowlights in this video today, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. The easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Princeton Review LSAT Review. It's a quick way to find it. Okay, so let's kick this review off with a quick price comparison. That way you get the lay of the land for the course formats that Princeton offers and how this course compares to other LSAT prep providers. And the short story is that Princeton Review offers three different options. They've got a self-paced course, which runs for around 800 bucks, a fundamentals course that runs for around 1100, and their LSAT 165 plus format that runs for around $2,100. They do sometimes offer a bootcamp style immersion course depending on the season, but those three that I just mentioned are your standard offerings. So stacking Princeton Review up against competitors, they're right in line with Kaplan, Testmasters, and Blueprint, but more expensive than budget providers like Magoo, Shellsat Lab, and 7 Sage. They're squarely in the middle of that more expensive bucket of LSAT courses. Though I would just note that Princeton does frequently run sales and special promotions, and a lot of times you can find their packages on sale. So do be sure to check the description below before buying. I'll do my best to keep that description down below the video screen, updated with the most current discount codes that might be out there. Maybe you can save yourself some coin if you decide to go with Princeton Review. In my experience, you can usually save $50 to $100 on their fundamentals course and $250 or more on that 165 plus course. And on the point of that 165 plus course, I do just want to quickly touch on that. Yes, Princeton does offer a package that guarantees you'll get a score of 165 or better, which is something I have not seen with any other prep provider, though I would just note to watch out for the minimum starting score thresholds. There are some fairly strict requirements to qualify for that promise. I'll link those down below in the description if you want to check those out. Okay, so with that quick price comparison out of the way, let's break down how the Princeton Review LSAT course works and what you get before moving into my thoughts. And let's start with a high level look at the organization. So you can attack the material in the Princeton course in one of two ways, through their syllabus or by subject. Essentially, the study material is all broken out into these little chunks and you can tackle it by following the recommended approach, i.e. the syllabus, or one at a time by subject grouping. If you go by subject grouping, the material is broken out into four buckets, one for each of the three sections of the exam, plus an overarching bucket for test taking strategy. But assuming you follow their suggested study plan, here's how that works. There are 24 units to complete in total, each of which contains one to four lessons. And it's these lessons that are the basis of your daily studying where you should aim to complete one or two lessons per day. And here's what they look like. Every lesson is basically a gated module. You open up the lesson, it pops out into a standalone box in your browser, and you work through a series of videos, exercises, and drills. And I'd say the best way to describe them is segmented with checkpoints or gates. You watch a video lesson, then you can move on to a series of practice problems, you complete those, then you move on to an ordering drill, complete that, then you move on to some true false questions, etc, etc. It's actually a pretty cool integrated approach to teaching that I'll talk about more here in a minute. But in any event, you keep tackling these lessons one at a time until you finish all the units. And that's about it. Finish the units, finish the coursework. And wrapped around this primary set of coursework, you also get access to a QBank, which allows you to build custom quizzes filtered down by a number of factors, full length practice exams, which you can take at any time, hard copy prec books, which are integrated into the coursework as part of your assignments, and some other resources like performance analytics. But of course, that really only describes the self-paced on-demand course. If you opt for either Princeton's Fundamentals course or 165 plus course, you also get live online classes. If you go with one of these packages, the classes actually become the basis of your coursework, not those gated modules. Those online lessons will still be there for you to work if you want to, but your focus will instead be on the live classes. And in short, the classes basically follow the material in those lesson modules, but with much greater depth. The instructors add a ton of detail and side tips and really slow things down to work sample problems, answer questions, and work things out on a whiteboard. And that's pretty much it in terms of how the Princeton Review LSAT course works. And I know I covered that really fast, so if you do want to see a more detailed breakdown of exactly how this course plays out, be sure to check out that full detailed written review that I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. And by the way, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest, helpful, and informative content all totally free. So if Princeton does end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you'd use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and it allows us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. 
And if it turns out that Princeton Review is not a great match for you, it's no problem at all. I just wanna make sure you get matched up with the right prep course, and we have a ton of other helpful review videos that you can check out. Okay, now that I've covered how the Princeton Review course works, the features that you get in pricing, let's get into what I like and what I don't like about Princeton, and whether I think it's worth it. And let's start with the things that I really like. And the first thing that really jumped out at me is the course design. I love this structure that Princeton Review has created with these gated learning modules. It's really streamlined and efficient. They smartly organize the material in each learning module so you progress from learning the basics, to watching examples, to testing your knowledge with drills, to applying them in practice with real problems. And when combined with this cool kind of gated approach, it's really effective. All right, so number two, the live classes. Basically, I was a big fan of Princeton's live classes. I think because Princeton Review has been at it for so long, they've really got these classes down. They know exactly what they can get through in a set amount of time. You never have one of those classes where they're rushing to squeeze a material in the last five minutes before everyone walks out the door because they overestimated how much they could get done. The classes are organized, efficient, and the instructors do a great job of teaching the material and keeping everyone on track. Okay, so my third pro is the prep books. If you're the type of student that loves hard copy prep books, Princeton Review is gonna be your best bet in LSAT prep, except for maybe Kaplan. These books are well-written and concise, and I personally think they make really good use of sample problems and key point callouts. So bottom line, if you like highlighting key points and taking notes in the margins of a physical book, Princeton's are very good and well integrated into the course. Okay, so last up here, number four for me is the problem explanations. I think Princeton Review did a really nice job with their answer solutions. Because almost all companies leverage real LSAT problems from past exams through LSAC, it all comes down to the explanations that these companies craft. And Princeton's are very good. I found them to be articulate, but not overly detailed. Okay, so that covers what I like. Now let's flip the tables and talk about the things that I wasn't necessarily crazy about. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win a free Princeton Review LSAT course. Anyway, the negatives. And I have three of them with Princeton Review, starting with the fact that I honestly feel like there's almost too much study material. Between the prep books, online modules, video lessons, QBank, full-length practice tests, and live classes, if you go that route, it is simply a lot to take in. A lot of other LSAT companies like LSAT Lab and Magoosh, for example, tend to keep things more streamlined and simple with just digital content. This course, though, is just so comprehensive it borders on too much. Anyway, my second negative is the video lesson delivery. Basically, the video lessons in the learning modules are good in terms of content, but the format is just all right. It's a far cry from the crazy good video lessons that you get with Blueprint and even Kaplan. They're just fairly basic with a slideshow style approach with instructor voiceover and notes on the slides. I mean, it's not awful, but I just personally like to see my instructor on screen so I can gauge those nonverbal communication cues. I get that not being able to see your instructor allows you to focus more on the material, but I would just like to see something more dynamic here. And lastly, my final negative is that there's no central study schedule. Other courses like Blueprint provide these really nice color-coded study planners that tell you exactly what to study and when. The study calendar almost acts like a jumping off point for your daily assignments and Princeton Review just doesn't have that. I mean, they do give you a suggested study schedule, but it's not as central to your study plan as it is with others. But anyway, that about covers the detail in this review. So let's get to my final verdict. Should you go with Princeton Review for your LSAT prep? Well, personally, I feel like Princeton Review is a really solid course for the money and a safe choice. After all, they're the tried and tested option. So here's who I think Princeton Review is best for. Someone who gobbles up lessons and practice work just burning through material. In other words, someone who wants a super comprehensive course where you're gonna get a ton of study material and bang for your buck. I think this is especially true if you're looking for live classes. When you combine all of Princeton's online and hard copy resources with the live classes, you get super thorough coverage of the necessary LSAT strategies and hacks that you'll need to score well. Now, if you're strictly looking for a self-paced course, I actually think Blueprint's self-paced course is a tad better for the same price, but ultimately, at the end of the day, I really like Princeton Review, I give them high marks, and I think you cannot go wrong with them. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.